Tonight, America is in grave danger. What's up? This is my IMDb account. It's something that I use throughout my entire life to keep track of all the horror movies that I've seen while also rating them. I've noticed that I'm almost at my 500th rating. So what could the 500th movie be? This shit. I don't know why I picked this movie, but I was scrolling on Amazon Prime and I was like, you know what? I'll watch the trailer. there were no reports about this thing until 1946. What could have happened then to start the story? 1946? Well, the, uh, the bikini underwater experiments were set off then. Maybe that started something. Deep down in the strange, lurid, murky depths of the Pacific are fantastic, horribly grotesque creatures of the sea that challenge man's courage as no earthly creatures can. Science knows some of the answers, but not all. And among science's unknowns is the strange identity of the living monster from the ocean floor. How he get out of suit? No man gets through that. And what happened to him? Here is the first undersea battle ever photographed between a giant killer shark and a woman as she searches for a monster even more deadly. Could absorb a man or a woman. Bonnie, cast off, on the double. That may have been the longest trailer I've ever seen in my life, but anyways, I was like, whatever, fine, I'll watch it. And what does the monster look like? Well, there you go. Yeah. So, anyways, this movie is about an American girl named Julie who takes a trip to Mexico who spots this one-eyed giant monster amoeba squid thing and teams up with a marine biologist to kill it. That's it. I gotta be honest though, about 20 minutes of this film consists of footage of this boat. And it's awful. The movie was made in 1954 with only a $28,000 budget. And this was also Roger Corman's first feature film. That's crazy. The guy who made over 100 movies in Hollywood, this was his first. Anyways, this is just my first little review and we're just getting started here. I hope you enjoy this new series that's about to start. And this is the first episode of Craptober. You can expect these reviews to be formatted like how the old Cinemassacre Monster Madness reviews were. It's just James Rolfe talking over clips, pictures, and giving a description of the movie that he's reviewing. Reviews will be put out every single day throughout October. That's 31 horror movie reviews of the corniest, the cheesiest, and possibly some of the worst movies you've ever seen. This is something to make your Halloween a little bit more Halloween-y. The cheesy horror movies is what helps make the horror genre fun. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, and now I've got the chance to do it. And um, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.